what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk recently I talked about Jim Jones on Father's Day right before Father's Day and he was disgusted as to why fathers in particular black fathers don't get the appreciation that they deserve and of course i agreed with him a thousand percent just like many of you black men agreed with his sentiments on that particular video but jim jones has stopped by a particular podcast by the name of mining diamonds and um you know from what i can see it's a really good set up here and jim jones talks about his particular upbringing and when he talks about money and finance he mentions that he didn't have any mentorship in that area as a kid he knew how to hustle but he didn't know anything about being financially literate and understanding what dollars can do and people don't understand the the value of money and so I, I want to talk about that because that is definitely true. But but I want to also talk about something that can contribute to that. Now, obviously, I have taken wealth management to be more serious in my own personal financial career. But the reason why a lot of people don't have mentorship is because, number one, we are coming up with women who don't have husbands. That's the problem, Jim Jones. We want to talk about it. Let's talk about it. These youth need to be mentored. Got it. Who's going to do it? Well, we can start with the men of these children. Oops. They're not going to be there that long, right? Yes, they're not. Because either through the mom messing up the relationship or the dad messing the relationship up, or they just can't get along, that child is gonna be screwed. And that woman is probably not gonna have enough income to give those kids that advice. So then who needs to come in and mentor the person? I know, some other dude, some other person. See, here's what we're asking for in black America, guys. We are asking for charity from a group of people who can pay. What do I mean? Um, you know, when I wanted to do um, some investing, and shout out to Alpha Male Strategies because he he helped me on my in my way for certain things. He called me and, and explained some things to me that I need to be taken advantage of, and so I took his advice. When I wanted to get some financial wealth management advice, it was something that I had to pay for. When I talked to Pocket Watcher and JT about my situations, it's something that I got to pay for. And these kids who are out here buying Jordans, buying Gucci belts, buying whatever it is that they want, they can do it. But then now what you're telling me is that some financial guys need to come to the black community and just give this mentorship for free when their own parents won't give it to them for free. And their fathers are not going to be there to possibly give it to them for free. The answer is no, no. No, no. The reason why I say no is because this. People in the black community pay for what they want. Even me, like when I was coming up, I, I used to read Small Business Opportunities Magazine. I would read US News World Reports. I would read these magazines to kind of get a, a, a clue of where I wanted to be in my life. I took a keen interest in it. Where I wanted to be financially, what kind of life I wanted to live. It was my own personal interest in that. Nobody had to come and say, well, you know what? You're from Del Paso Heights. I'm going to mentor you because you come from a impoverished neighborhood in Sacramento, California. Because let me tell you what you do. If you come and you mentor people, they're not going to appreciate it. And it's not the fault of black financial wizards or wealth managers that come to the black community and say, hey, we're here to help you with money. No. No. You're wasting your time. 
It is the parents' responsibilities to bring resources to their kids and train your kids on the situation of money. Your family should have a wealth manager. You need to take your kids to a wealth manager and you teach your kids how money should work. That's what the wealthy do. But so for us, we can still go out there and buy stuff. I mean, you got Google, we don't know. And we gotta start being, you gotta start being difficult with our people too. We gotta start holding them to the feet of the fire. No, you 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 know you wanna you wanna deal with this chick and get and get a baby and you're broke? No, don't ask me. You wanna be a woman and, and deal with Pookie River and get pregnant? No, then don't ask me to come and mentor the kid when you don't want to do it yourself. People have to put into where they want to be. Stop making it the mentorship idea. And I, I get it that he might want to provide that mentorship for free or for a course. But the answer is no. For me, no. Because the person has to want to do these things. They got to want it. The community has to want it. The community can pay for everything else that they want. Go to any black neighborhood, Southwest Philly, North Philly, uh, East Baltimore, West Baltimore, South Central. I see people paying for whatever the hell they want to have all the time. You don't want to invest in yourself? Now we can talk about the importance of that, but if their family ain't talking to them about it, then why not? The churches go to, why are they not talking about it? No, black professionals shouldn't have to do that. Black professionals should mentor people who are interested in saying, hey, I want to learn from X, Y, and Z. What do you guys got? Okay, now we can. Okay, so cool. That's that's fine. All right, young man, we can help you then. But just mentoring people for just because they, they don't know how to have money, manage money? No. These parents have to start raising their kids to compete in this inflated economy. Stop having these children if you can't take care of them. Stop looking at Jim Jones. Stop looking at other people. It's your job to give your kids uh, an advantage not anybody else why are you even having sex then what's the point so your kids can and, and you can become burdened on taxpayers you have to contribute set your kids up for the right thing but if you say that that's mean so they can come you can come get all your mentorship and give them you know all the, the advice and they go buy and buy whatever the hell they want you over there slaving no hell no i'm sorry no no but guys what do you think it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode today here on Slowly Drunk. I appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell, check out the first clip at the top, and as you know, the buffoonery remains at all time high. I'm out. Yeah.